Christian Yelich was a uh, not good last year. He had probably the worst season of his career and was paid $14 million for it. This year, he will be paid $26 million, and who knows how he'll play this year. Let's talk about it. From 2018 to 2019, Christian Yelich was just about the best hitter in baseball. He led the National League in all three triple slash categories for those two years, except for on base percentage, which he was third in the NL in 2018. As a Brewers fan, watching him crush baseballs was an absolute treat, and it seemed like he was on a path toward becoming the greatest Brewer ever, and who knows what else. But we all know what's happened since then. Since those two magical seasons, Yelich has been nothing short of disappointing. Sure, we can throw 2020 out the window and say, yeah, well, offense as a whole was down and he still had an above average OPS, blah, blah, blah. Okay, sure, sure. Now let's look at 2021. Christian Yelich had like two memorable moments in 2021. He got ejected for arguing a tiny little turn against the Reds in July, and in August he hit two home runs in a game against the Nationals, one of them being a grand slam. It felt like every time he hit a home run, everyone was hoping, maybe that's the swing that gets him going. It never happened. He had a good OPS one month, then a bad one the next. This carried over to the playoffs, where he had just three singles in four games and struck out looking to end the series against the eventual World Series champion Atlanta Braves. His OPS was a smidge below league average, with less than 10 home runs for the first time since 2015, long before he was a Brewer. Even in 2020, as bonkers as that season was, Yelich still hit for a 110 OPS plus. Not MVP numbers, but still above league average. Yelich had a noodle bat last year, plain and simple, but why? That's the big question when it comes to his struggles. Why did this happen? What caused him to go from having back-to-back -back MVP type seasons to all of a sudden be this? Let's dig deep. Since 2019, Christian Yelich's average launch angle was 11.3. In 2021, it was 2.8. His average exit velocity wasn't that much worse than his other years. What does this mean? It means he still hits the ball hard, but he was hitting the ball on the ground far more often than he should be. And what happens when you hit a ground ball? In the big leagues, these things that they call ground balls are outs. Yeah, they don't pay. They don't pay you for ground balls. They pay you for doubles. They pay you for homers. His ground ball percentage was 12% higher than it was in 2019, and his fly ball rate was 11% lower. In short, he's hitting the ball on the ground more, which leads to fewer extra base hits, lower slugging percentage, and overall lower average and on-base percentage because he's not getting as many hits. I mean, you can't hit ground balls more than half the time and expect to have anywhere near a good slugging percentage. Simply put, Yelich needs to hit the ball in the air again and swing more, especially at the first pitch. His first pitch swing percentage has gone down from 29.7% in 2019 to 22.5% in 2021. I know it's all easier said than done, but I know it's all easier said than done, but it's important to remember that the only way from here for Yelich is up. It's certainly not impossible for him to get at least somewhat back to his MVP form. If he can be a 130 OPS plus hitter, then he'll be back. I have faith that Christian can return to his former abilities. New co-hitting coach Connor Dawson is on record talking about how important launch angle is, so there's definitely hope to be had for the Brew crew. In all, I believe that Yelich can make a comeback, although it would require him to hit the ball in the air more like he used to. And if he can be more aggressive, sky's the limit.